back here for turn 10. Sorry for the delay. Um, it is Wednesday night, March 22nd. I leave early Friday morning for a vacation. I will see if I can get this scenario finished before I go. Um, don't know if I can or not. Uh, here at turn 10, uh, this um, a situation that I had thought was a pretty resounding Warsaw Pact victory. Uh, and then I did some cheating for NATO to give them what I thought was more of a fighting chance. Now I think uh, what's more likely to happen, and, it, and let me clarify, Warsaw Pact is going to win the scenario. They've got two of the three objectives. When I'm talking to victory, I'm talking about will they get the final objective. Um, you know, I have talked a lot along the way about how I fiddle around with rules and scenario output, thing like that. Um, and I'm realizing that this scenario would have played out better if I just left it alone. And so next time I will keep that in mind. But it is what it is. We're in turn 10 here. Uh, I made one mistake. I made a number of mistakes last time. Thanks to Martin for pointing some out. Major one is that the uh, East German air support never activated. It was the only formation, so to speak, in the, in the game that didn't activate last turn, so that will have to activate this turn before things come to an end, but in terms of the uh, Warsaw Pact, two of their headquarters are suppressed and will not be coming onto the map this turn, and so that's going to make it pretty tough for them, unless they get really significantly good command rolls or better results from their infantry than they've been getting so far. It's going to make it tough for them to make a final push to capture this last objective down here, even with the dwindling uh, NATO reserves. So let's see what happens here. Uh, the American Cobras activate, and they're right back here. And uh, Martin pointed out to me that one thing I could consider would be to try to take out the anti-aircraft unit here right away to keep the helicopters having the capacity to fire on armor without worrying about being shot at too much by those missiles. And so this is a hovering helicopter. I, that, that nap of the Earth, that's not... Um, that's not correct. I'm going to change the mode here, change the mode, and then put it back into hover. Uh, it's not hovering and nap of the earth don't go together. It's hovering, um, so it's right above the terrain level here. And so yeah, that, that seems like a reasonably good idea, although Yeah, so that seems a good idea. So this Cobra here is going to try to take out this threat right here. It's probably going to do it. It's going to roll uh, four dice, needing threes because this is point-blank range for the uh, tow anti-tank guided missile units. So it's four dice, right? Four dice needing threes. And there are th four hits, and so this gets two saves. Uh, it fails at both of them, and so it is wrecked. Now a reload roll, I often forget those. It failed the reload roll, so that means that it is trying to reload, and we'll see if it gets another chance. Now this last helicopter here is currently also hovering, so it can take a shot at any unit that is in its line of sight. The most Oh, you know, I'm supposed to check the solo assistant here, telling these folks what to do, aren't I? Let's pull a card. It's hard to imagine it's going to tell them to do anything except fire. Uh, assault or fire at point-blank range. Uh, onboard indirect fire. There's none in this case or fire. So indeed, the solo assistant is wisely telling the helicopters to do the thing that they do. And... Let's check line of sight here and see what we're doing. Now again, remember, nap of the earth is irrelevant here. 
change mode, change mode. So it's it's hovering. So it's at a level two, right? Or it's level one. I'm sorry. This is a level one um, obstruction here. These the forest, and so there's one two hexes between them. So there's a one two hex blind spot. Uh, this tank here is up on top of the hill, so it's a valid target. So is this. T-72 right here. Um, yeah, that's probably the shot to take. Could it, oops, could it take this shot here at this? No, it's blocked by the tree. So it's going to take this shot here. This, this tank is slightly more immediate threat. And so it's another point blank shot uh, for needing threes, and this time I will remember two things. The concealed bonus. I always forget the concealed bonus. A unit in this game is concealed if it is in terrain that provides it a defensive bonus, and if it is not marked ops complete. And I forget that all the time. So this unit is concealed. So that makes it harder to hit. So it would normally be four dice needing threes, but it's going to be back up to four dice needing fours because of concealment, and any hits will have the reactive armor save. So that's a single hit, and so the tank has three dice needing fours because it's anti-tank guided missiles against reactive armor, and if they don't save it, they'll get another die. So they do save it. The, the, the dice that they would throw for terrain bonuses are just fives. They don't, the re, that's not reactive armor, that's the wrecks are in the way. So uh, now a reload roll, and they also fail, and so they are reloading as well, and now their ops complete. This helicopter here is ops complete, and we now have. Uh, okay, the East German Air Force is back on the scene. Let's see what they're going to do. This end operations card now is going to go back to the formation deck. The turn could end at any time now. The air support seems so these Americans here are a real nuisance and they shouldn't really be here but I think that really this American hex right here is the biggest threat. So let's get this rolling. First of all, let's see if the attack happens or not. This is the intercept roll. It is on station. It continues its attack. Um, the Americans do have, they have infantry left, right? Ah, that infantry is disrupted. This infantry, I don't think this formation has access to an anti-aircraft missile. Oh no, there are no, the Americans have no more anti-aircraft missiles, and they don't really have any anti-aircraft units. So the jet is just flying in and making its attack. It will make its first attack against the disrupted, reduced Abrams stacked with its headquarters. Three dice needing fours. That's a single hit. The Abrams are going to get their um, four saves needing fives plus one for the woods. Five saves needing fives. They save easily. The M60 Pattons in the woods uh, are also being attacked. Three dice needing four. There's three hits and the Pattons are going to get fewer saves. They're going to get a total of four and one of the three hits is saved, so that is two hits. And so this unit is disrupted and reduced. It was good showing by the Air Force, I suppose. Now you have to see if the Air Force has any ordnance left. It has more ordnance on board, so it goes back on the turn track and may fly again. And the next formation is the very uh, patent tanks that were just
shot up a little bit. So everybody here is well in command. Let's do a rally roll for the uh, reduced tank. It passes. It rallies. Oh, I guess I had failed to disrupt it, but now it's just undisrupted. And so what is the solo assistant going to tell us to do? The closest enemy unit is that that is in line of sight is at effective range. There's nobody at point blank range. Yeah, yeah, there's nobody at point blank range. So let's see what the orders from above tell us to do. Uh, fire at the closest vehicle or move towards. So let's see what the closest vehicle is for this unit. There's a vehicle at range 11 and a vehicle at range 11. So and there's just no there's no other enemy. Uh, there's a vehicle at range 10. Yeah, would that really be the shot? Probably not, but that is what it says. And I think one of the things that the solo assistant might be trying to simulate is that these, these this outfit doesn't know exactly. They know there's vehicles here and there's infantry here. They don't necessarily know. Well, of course, that's an American unit, so never mind all that. They're not going to fire at the Americans like the East Germans fired at themselves. So, forget that. Here we go. Firing up this direction at a range of 11. It is uh, three dice needing fives. And there's no other stuff going on there. So three dice needing fives. And that's a single hit. And I believe they're in the open here. And so the already disrupted infantry fighting vehicle gets a single save needing five which it fails, it is eliminated. And another thing I always forget, I think there, there's been there's been a couple of fire attacks where I needed to, I was supposed to check and see if there was rubble or fire. I don't know if I ever have remembered that rule. So let's see what this infantry unit does in response to its vehicle being shot, is it uh, dies in the, in the fire. So, well shot, American tanks. You are ops complete. Now, the headquarters unit. Looks like the closest vehicle is right there, is range 10. And that's a good target to take a shot at. So, we're going to shoot our six dice because of the headquarters needing fives. Only one hit for all that. And I don't believe cultivated terrain gives any kind of benefit to vehicles, does it? It does not. And so it just has its one die needing fives. And it fails its save. So the vehicle and its passenger are both disrupted. This American tank is ops complete. And... So it goes. That's the end of that formation. It's an activation. And the East German designated formation. So the East Germans have been pretty badly depleted, but they do have a chance here to make a little bit of a rush, don't they? So they're certainly going to activate their infantry formation. Let's see where the command range falls if they redeploy this headquarters here, then those units are not in command. If they do it here, uh, no, no, right, that's the whole reason that I put this recon vehicle here, isn't it? So that I could get as many of my units as possible in command. So that's where the headquarters will redeploy to. And uh, there will still, will there still be some command checks? And this truck here has to yeah, 
instruct you're asking you command check uh, it fails without a command uh, is it irrelevant uh, I change command status that's not going anywhere doing anything uh, let me get this command range off here we got some rallies to attempt uh, over here the uh, vehicle will attempt to rally the uh, BMP1 they fail badly and so the passengers are unable to rally because they're still in a disrupted vehicle and over here we have a lone infantry unit that needs to attempt to rally and they do rally and oh they are rocking and rolling and ready to go they just uh, <laughs> they're walking is all they're doing uh, anything else needs to happen here no so the American forces down here uh, are either disrupted or ops complete so these Germans can make these moves with a bit of impunity um, so let's do that the this BRDM2 here you see the blue in the circle for seven that is a an amphibious unit and I'm almost certain we're out of offboard assets right yeah no more offboard artillery but there are still a couple of onboard indirect fire assets so this unit can move and because onboard units are I hope I'm right about this onboard units are um, Hmm, you know what? I don't know if an ops complete unit can spot or not. I don't think it can. I better pause this. Never mind. The headquarters doesn't get ops complete. It can spot. So we've got this mortar here and this self propelled artillery. And they're in command and they, I think, are going to remain. In, no. So they, if they fire now, they may not get a chance next turn, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. So the most likely threat most likely problem is mm, uh, right down here this this M60 with the headquarters unit so we're gonna take a shot at that with the self-propelled artillery three dice needing four oh three hits now thank you to Martin for pointing this out to me there's a slightly different rule for saves when armor is being um, hit by indirect fire so it says right here that the heavy armor has its armor value reduced to one but uses its full save value um, and in addition to the head to the armor value both light and heavy armor gain defensive bonuses for terrain type and concealment so the artillery coming down causes the M60 tank here to have a single armor dice die needing five but it also gets one for concealment and one for being in the city and so it gives it back up to three needing five and it makes one of those saves so this unit is going to be reduced and disrupted and it is still ops complete and the artillery here is ops complete status marker ops complete and this mortar can this mortar even reach it can all right no it can't that's its range right there Ah, uh, what a fool am I. I thought that placing the mortar there would allow me to bring the enemy under fire, and I was wrong in another command blunder. Let's move then one, two, three, and we'll go ops complete. Or we won't because this, uh, there's two status markers on this counter. There we go. All right, now let's get some infantry moving. Got this, these folks here, one, two, three, four, five. Well, 
well, you know, that might be. Yeah, they're gonna have to. We're gonna have to make the rush, right? One, two, three, four, five, and. Should we just assault? The BMP-2 is a pretty good vehicle. And I think that both of these things in here are... No, they're not both disrupted. High risk. Oh, no, they can't. Oh, yeah, they, there's a road. Don't know you, Crystal Thunderbird. Uh, so we're going to... Yeah, they're going to try the assault here. Uh, let me get back into this hex. Let's get back into this hex. And so it's only the BMP's value. Three dice needing five on the attack. It's only one hit. Now, the Abrams gets uh, three dice because it's got the headquarters stacked with it, but it needs sixes because it's disrupted. And it scores no hits. And the Abrams gets one die needing four. And it gets no hits, so the BMP scored the only hit, and the Americans are going to go ahead and wreck this vehicle. But that means that uh, they have to retreat. The, the Americans have to retreat because they lost the combat, one hit to none. And the BMP, with its infantry, moves in here and marks itself ops complete. So, pretty good result. Got some infantry and a tank up here, so the tank can move one, two, three, four, five, and it's just got to stay there. And then these infantry here, they have to first load up, so they're not going to move very far. And then they can go one, two, three, and the infantry, and, well, there they go, and they are ops complete. And what else? This disrupted unit cannot move closer to a unit in line of sight. And it has got a unit in line of sight. It's just going to sit there. The tanks here are going to move one. Oh, they, no, the tanks have the minefields there. One, two, three, four, five. Leaving themselves out in the open there. Just trying to push the attack and the infantry is going to move one, two, three. And this unit here, one, two, it can move there and unload the infantry there and that would let that would allow the infantry to make an assault. Would it allow them to make an assault? Can infantry move into a city? Yeah, they can. So they're going to go ahead and unload into the adjacent hex. We'll leave this there. Unload infantry. They're both ops complete. So that was the transport moving half of its movement points and unloading an infantry into an adjacent hex. Now, especially if this formation activates before the Americans get another formation pull, they can make a couple of assaults here and infantry assaulting uh, tanks in a city have a very significant advantage and obviously the reduced patent if it uh, is disrupted is at a serious disadvantage. So that is it. This unit here doesn't well, you know, they can move here. That's not, that's far. That's not closer to a known enemy, and it does move them one closer. But they won't matter in the end in this either. So that's the end of that formation. Let's see who acts next. The Soviet designated formation. Now the Soviets have their tanks and their helicopters, and if their tanks get a second active, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna call on the tanks. So they unsuppress the headquarters, but that's not available this turn, so now each hex has to make a command check. Uh, that's a fail. That's out of command. And th 
this one, this tank will, it passes, and this tank fails, and so it remains out of command. And any further Soviet tanks, this unit up here fails and is out of command. Now rallies, uh, the you get a penalty for being dis being out of command when you're trying to rally, so it fails. No it fails in any case. This unit here will passes in any case, so it's no longer disrupted. But it still can't move and it can't initiate fire. It can only opportunity fire. Uh, this Soviet T-80 that is reduced, this platoon can act, can do whatever it wants, and it's going to go ahead and take a shot. Two dice needing fours, point blank range. Got to remember concealment here. Uh, that's one hit, and so um, the infantry. Um, oh, well, we shoot at the infantry, I guess. The infantry gets uh, two saves for being in the city. And it saves. So these Soviet tanks did nothing. If I had not brought this unit back here, these tanks would have had free reign to do what they were doing. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Let's see what the next formation is. And it is the East German tank formation. Same deal with their headquarters. They are currently suppressed, they become unsuppressed. Each T-72 on the map now has to make a command check. The anti-aircraft vehicle would have. Uh, if it was still alive, that's a fail. And that's a fail. And the roll is per hex, not per unit. And that is a pass. So these two units remain in command. And what do they think they should do? If they can't fire through the city, they're going to have to... Yeah, they're going to have to come one at a time. Uh, well, actually, right there, they're visible to this American unit. We have to see now what the orders are for that unit from the solo assistant. Point blank range, it's fire or low risk move, so fire it is. Uh, let's go ahead with the infantry first because they got the most shots. They're going to start by firing uh, three dice, needing four with the dragon, and uh, plus two extra dice for the headquarter and the leader. So that's uh, five dice, needing four. Two hits, and the East Germans get uh, three dice needing four because of reactive armor, and then uh, whatever's left, they have some terrain dice also, but they save. So the American infantry can also fire the toe, so it's going to get uh, six dice needing threes. Ooh, that's a lot of hits. One, two, three, four, five hits. Youch. So, three dice needing fours for the reactive armor. Two saves. Three hits remaining. And uh, so, yeah, this is going to just wreck it. Uh, two terrain dice wrecks and um, city. No. All right. So, that unit is now wrecked. And the infantry have shot. I'll get back to marking them in a minute. And now the Bradley is going to take a shot. Uh, two dice needing fours at point blank range. One hit. And so three saves here. It'll save successfully. So that was one. And if I think that they just need to. Well, same difference. Two, three. They'll get into the trees here. And they're going to take a shot. Uh, they're going to lose a die, so it's going to be one dice needing threes for point blank. They're going to shoot at the Bradley. That's a hit. The Bradley's going to get one needing six, and then 
for the terrain, it fails that, and for the terrain it's going to get one, and it fails that. So if nothing else, the T-72s did go ahead and disrupt this Bradley. It is also ops complete, and the American Infantry Unit is also ops complete. And that T-72 cannot move. Oh, these Americans up here, nah, they've got nothing. And what about down here? What do we have? Disrupted infantry. All right, that is the T-72 formation. And uh, the Americans, the lone Abrams left on the battlefield. Let's see if it can make its rally roll. It does, in fact, make it because the headquarters gives a bonus of two, and so the unit is not disrupted and is, in fact, ready to roll, and uh, the solar system is going to tell it to fire, right? Uh, assault if firepower is greater than the target otherwise fire. The, their firepower in an assault is not anywhere near as great as this, so they're just going to fire. They've got um, five dice needing fours for point-blank range at this armored personnel carrier. Three hits. The armored personnel carrier gets one save for itself and one save for the woods, both needing fives. It saves one of the three hits, so it becomes reduced and disrupted. the infantry there. Let's roll for the infantry and see what happens to them. Yeah, they also become reduced and they are in fact disrupted. And the armored personnel carrier is reduced and disrupted. So yeah, the NATO forces are not giving up, right? They're holding on to that last objective. And there we go next formation the Soviet helicopters the dreaded hind helicopters so not really fearing any kind of anti-aircraft fire this this fellow is hovering again, again ignore the nap of the earth thing there he's definitely not landed he is hovering and so It seems like the place to go, right? That is a range of nine, which is not quite point blank range, so it's four dice needing fours. Only one hit, and the tank gets three dice needing fours because it has the reactive armor. Saves that hit, no problem. Um, reload roll, it passes. So it's still got missile shots remaining. This unit here is just going to fly one, two, what's its range? Three, four. So this makes it a point blank shot using its cannon. Oh no. Yeah, well it's out, so hovering. Doesn't do it any good, so let me change mode to flying. It's uh Yeah, it doesn't matter whether it's snap of the earth or not. So now we're gonna use our cannon. Uh sorry, I've got to make it flying. Uh, we're going to use our cannon, which are a little bit less effective in um, flying mode. Uh, three dice needing fives. Uh, three dice needing fours because we're point blank range. Did they? Ooh, and not a single hit. And so they are ops complete. You know, I guess it doesn't really matter if you mark the helicopters ops complete. They can't reaction fire. Maybe that's why there's no option for that on the module. Oops, I just did the wrong thing. Made everybody that was ops complete ready to roll again. So let's see. Am I right? Is that? Nope. Uh, that was not true.
through so the first end of operations and the American Scratch Force, the these fellows here, so they are no longer ops complete and uh, now they're going to try a rally roll here. The you know, headquarters is not going to deploy there. They're just going to take their chances. They pass. They become good to go. Let's see what the American solo assistant tells them to do. And so at point blank range, they are, if they're disrupted, they low risk move or they fire. They are no longer disrupted, so they are firing. So I'm going to have the Bradley go first. Two dice needing threes at this T80 right here because that, no, this T80 here because that's the one that could potentially op fire. Two dice needing threes for point blank range. Two hits. And the saves are four dice needing fours because of reactive armor. So it saves both. So the Bradley is now ops complete. The infantry unit now with its two missile weapons, it will take uh, it will take a shot at the same unit using the dragon, uh, and that's got two bonus dice, so that's five dice needing threes. That's not a minimum range unit, is it? No, five dice needing threes. Wow, one, two, three, four, five hits. That's bad news. So four needing fives, uh, four needing fours because of reactive armor. Ooh, one, so that's one, two, three, and one more for the terrain. Nope. So they're just wrecked. And the tow missile now will fire. It'll fire up here at the full strength out of command unit. Need, uh, so that's going to be six dice needing threes. Four hits again. Uh, and now we're going to have four saves needing four. All right, so that was so now they have a, a save for the city and a save for the wrecks, two needing fives. So they completely save. So that was pretty well done. And uh, last turn, I, f I forgot the bonus dice for the infantry when they fired their inherent firepower. So the infantry themselves with high explosives have one die or two dice needing six at a range of one so they go down to one die needing six long range at this sh unit here so that's three dice needing six no hits but a valiant effort so that is the scratch force and battlefield event last turn I did not roll to see which side got the event I could have sworn I did but I didn't so let's roll and we've got a six, Overwatch. Uh, your troops have time to re ammo and reposition. Remove all ops complete markers from one friendly formation. This is not a formation impulse, simply removes ops complete. Let's see who gets it. Uh, NATO gets it. So the Americans get to remove ops complete markers from one formation and Oh, let's say that this is the unit here. That now, if they, they're doing it, yeah. Boy, no, because they're disrupted. They're, if they are under a threat, they're going to be assaulted here. And so let's take the ops completes off of here. All that means is they get some op fire if they see the enemy moving around again. Next formation to activate the Soviet helicopters once again. So they can shoot there, but this unit here, the closer helicopter, is going to go ahead and shoot. Uh, this time it's going to go into hovering mode. And so it's got uh, it's out of missiles, so it can take four dice needing fours because of point blank range. It's one hit. Now these tanks, they've got all these saves, three needing fives to start with. 
that did not do anything and then they just have the one and so that does save so that helicopter has been used up now this helicopter is going to go ahead and attack the same unit uh, what was the range again I think it's an effective range shot right range 9 uh, so four dice needing fours three hits and the Americans get uh, three dice needing fours to save and they get save two and now the terrain so that was a single hit so the oh it's wrecked so interestingly so there are no more units of that formation so I'm not sure if you can make these fellows a headquarters not just no, I can reduce it and suppress it and it'll just never be back in the game oh wait a minute that tank should get a second die for the Rex a second saving dice oh and it does save I've got to undo all of that all right so those American tanks are still hanging in there now does this helicopter run out of missiles does not it continues to pass they brought an extra load of missiles all right this is getting a little exciting here down to the wire next formation and it's the American infantry reinforcements again we should just declare that they stymie this attack down here uh, here we go the Bradleys are going to take a uh, shot two dice needing threes against the closest T well I guess I'm going to look at the solo assistant but really what would they be doing other than uh, assault the firepower is greater than the targets or fire well okay so I think that those orders mean to assault we've got uh, the infantry are two dice plus two dice I think that maybe uh, the Americans are going to redeploy so that a leader is with the Bradley and the headquarters are with the infantry and they're gonna even though I don't think it's the right thing to do they're gonna follow their orders and make assaults oh but yes that's right the first move will allow off fire from this unit so no nope, that's just crazy they're gonna shoot the Bradleys are gonna go ahead and shoot but this is this is the unit that needs to be taken care of here the Bradleys are gonna shoot they're gonna have Lieutenant Colonel Williamson's bonus dice so it's three dice needing threes for the uh, yeah, two hits, and so we've got four saves needing fives, one save, and now we have two saving dice for terrain, and they save, so ops complete, and now the infantry is going to take the same shot. They're going to go ahead with the tow missiles, uh, five dice needing threes, only one hit. Let's see about, the, we have a total here of six dice needing fives, right? and no saves amazing disrupted and now the dragon well, the dragon will fire point blank at the undisrupted t80 using uh, four dice needing threes now that's a shot uh, so four five dice needing fives so that was four hits so that is uh, reduced and disrupted which means it's wrecked so yeah these Americans uh, they did their job right so I, I think I've said in earlier videos I think about this little force here as being like uh, Tom Hanks and Matt Damon and their crew in Band of Brothers this raggedy bunch of Americans trying to hold this tiny bridge from the hordes of enemies and they did well who is next end of the turn and so we move on to turn 11 we have to see which formations did not activate the uh, the American
American air support didn't get pulled. The well, they're not they're not in the game anymore. They didn't get pulled. They did get pulled. Everybody else here got an activation. So the American, I'll put them where they need to be in just a minute. Take this end operations card out here. Wow, you don't need to watch me do all this. That's the end of turn 11. I will see if I can get through turn 12 before I go on vacation. Uh, it's going to be a close run thing, isn't it? All right. Thank you for watching.